Hey everybody, it's me, Nick Avocado. I'm back home from Shake Shack. I'm home, hello, we're back home. Shoo -be doo we're home, hello. Oops, feels like there's a bee sting on my lip. And it's hot, it's steamy. Today we are doing Shake Shack. Oh my gosh, it is too bright, shine bright like a diamond. Hello, thank you. Hi everyone, we're doing Shake Shack. We are gonna be doing everything from Shake Shack. I actually just got home, so the intro won't be as long. Watch, I'm gonna talk for 10 minutes, I'm so sorry. Hi, hi everyone, and don't forget, I am posting daily on my new channel, Nick Ocado Avocado 4, and third time's the charm. So this is my last time making an expansion pack because the other two, we don't post on anymore. So check it out, I've been posting daily there, and we'll be giving some shout outs to you guys for commenting, and um, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying it. A lot of you guys have gone over. Thank you so much. Shake Shack in your comment under the video, I will shout you out. And please leave your social media so I can send you some followers. So leave your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever you want. Just be like, hey, my name's um, Barbara Shaky. My Instagram is Shaky123. Shout me out and I'll say it. And hopefully you guys can get some little sloths of mine. Hopefully the nice, I, I don't know. I don't know, I'm a little controversial sometimes. So yeah, hopefully it's no haters, but you never know. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for your support. And here we go, okay. <laughs> Yes, I got basically the entire menu. Now, before you say I overspent, this was $95. <laughs> Shake Shack is expensive. I remember I ate here with Trailer Trash Tammy, and I was like, oh my gosh, everything is double the prices in and out. However, the flavor, the texture, everything tastes better than in and out. I do like my in and out, don't get me wrong. But when you have it side by side with Shake Shack, it's night and day. So let me show you everything I got. I basically got the entire menu except for their sweets. Like their, I think they have cookies and they have really good milkshakes, but you guys know me and sugar. We don't want to do that. So I got a hot dog and I got a Chicago style chicken dog. Never had that before. That's very different. I'm so excited. Comes with honey mustard, comes with barbecue sauce. And then in here, what do we have? I don't even know. What did I order? Oh, chicken nuggets. It reminds me of Chick-fil-A. I've never had their chicken nuggets either. I'm so excited. And then I got a chicken sandwich. Oh my God. <gasps> no, this is their brand new. Oh, this is new. This, everybody, is a Fritos. It has Fritos in there. I'm pretty sure they're Fritos. Oh my gosh, watch. It's not Fritos. What is it? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hello, I am speaking to you. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. What is the new menu item from Shake Shack that has Fritos on top? Okay, I found this on the web for what is the new menu item from Shake Shack that has Fritos. That is not Shit. what I want. Ouch, I still feel the bee sting on my lip. Ouch, it feels like, like a, bee, a bee wing went into, oops, oops, into. I'm gonna have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's Fritos. They actually up, they kind of like sold it to me. They kind of like upscaling because they. I was going down a list. I'm like, I want this, 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 this. And they're like, oh my gosh, wow. And they're like, can we like suggest this? I'm like, yes, I'll have it. I was even planning on getting it. So it's something new, it has Fritos. Okay, everybody. Okay, settle down now. I know it's really exciting. We have some cheese. Their nacho cheese is actually very good. Now, I remember when I first looked at this, my first impressions was like, that's it. That's it. Like, oh my god, that's so not good. You know what I mean? It looked very like basic. You know, these are just some crinkle fries that you find the bowling alley. I call these bowling alley fries. And um, I was like, that's it. That is it. How is that it? What is going on? 
and then I tasted it with the cheese, because I'm like, the cheese is separate, it's not even mixed, is this worth it? Oh, what's in here? Oh, this is the extra sauce, did I have to pay for that? I asked for extra sauce for my uh, burgers, because I like a saucy burger, so I'm gonna be sprinkling these on top. Um, so I got three fries, because I'm hungry. <laughs> So what um, comments on my Instagram the other day, they're like, Nick, you're so overweight, but I love your videos. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you, I know. All right, so there's crinkle fry number three. And then here's more of that sauce. We got that Shake Shack sauce. It's a mayonnaise-based sauce, and you guys know I love mayo. And here's cheese number three. So I got three cheese fries. Now, they do have an option of bacon, but I'm trying to watch the waistline. For me, bacon is the number one way to get me water weight. <gasps> By the way, Check out my merch link down below if you want my water weight shirts. I just ordered some for myself. Some more than that actually fit because I don't fit in my other ones because I gained a little too much water weight. But um, they're the cutest things. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I need to be wearing my shirts here. They're so cute. So if you're interested, consider checking it out. If you have water weight like me. All right, so this is not even the big finale. This is just the appetizers, okay? So let's make some room down over here, put them down. Don't worry, we're gonna put these in the air fryer so they're nice and hot. Hot and steamy. I'm in a great mood, I don't know if you can tell. Life has been really good for me lately. Don't worry, this will all be reheated. <gasps> they package it so cute in this little box. Oh, wait a minute. Eight. I'm gonna steal this box. Ah, don't look at my double chin. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to rip my bag, no. Oh, here we go. Who's that? <gasps> Wow, hot and steamy. We're back home. This is it. This is $90 of food. What? That's what I'm saying. Oh, each cheeseburger. But I'm telling you, the quality, the flavor, the taste, it it blows me away. And I'm not just saying, listen, Shake Shack is not that popular on YouTube. This might get, you know, two views. I don't know. I'm doing it because I love it and I've never, ever, ever, ever done a full sit down Shake Shack feast other than my collaboration with Trailer Trash Tammy, which counted, but it was also a versus with in and out And then I did it once before, but I, um, oh no, I did, but it was like one sandwich. It was the mushroom burger, which is delicious. It has no meat. It has cheese inside. Yeah, this one over here. I got two of them. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Quality, I'm telling you, you'll bite it and you'll be like, okay, that does taste really good. And when I had it side by side with In N Out, I was actually like kind of shocked. So, anyway. So, without further ado, sorry, I was just reading a text. Let me get everything set up, make it nice and pretty, and I'm gonna snap and we'll be good to go. Here we go. One, two, and three. <gasps> bam! Did I do a bam? I think I did. Bam! I hope I did. Well, I just did one. Hi, look at this. I have so much. This is literally the entire menu except for their milkshakes and except for, that's literally it. We have our chicken burgers, our chicken nuggets. We have the hamburger, the cheeseburger, the mushroom burger. We have the brand new Fritos burger. We have the uh, cheese fries. Now there is an option where you can get bacon, bacon fries, but it's all, it's literally this. And all they do is give you a little cut with bacon and you sprinkle on top. So it's literally the same thing. I'm trying to watch my waistline. <laughs> and I got my hot dog. They do have two types of hot dogs, but you get the point, they do have a hot dog. So it's basically the whole menu. And this was almost $100 worth, it was like $95. So, let's dig in. So let me go one by one. I've never even tried most of this. The only thing I've had before is their regular cheeseburger and their mushroom burger, which is phenomenal. I mean, you guys know I love meat, I used to be vegan and all that, but their mushroom burger, because it's infused with cheese, it's very, very good. Okay, so this one here is their um, new Fritos burger. You can see the Fritos down in there. I think it's called Fritos. It might be fried onions. I could be wrong. Then we have our chicken or our mushroom. And then we have um, a regular cheeseburger, a double cheeseburger. Where there's two here. This is the chicken sandwich. This is the mushroom with cheese. I, also, I actually got two, two um, of the mushroom with cheese because Orlin, okay. We all know that I overeat on food. Well, half of this is for Orlin, so it's more for display, but it will be eaten. People, I want to make sure you know that I'm not wasting food, but I like to do taste tests. So. Without further ado, let's do my thumbnail. I think I should like hold a cheeseburger, that'd be great. Oh, and before we begin, cause I, you can see I'm kind of hyper. I'm really excited, you know why? Oh gosh. 
because I'm doing my ginger shots. I always recommend these and I know it's that time of year. Is it the winter still? Oh my gosh, I'm in Florida. It doesn't even feel like it half the time. It's winter, okay? So we know <clears throat> it's going around. You have to be careful. I recommend this to everyone, even during the summer. You take ginger root, you get it from the grocery store, you put it through a juicer and the juice comes out. I know I'm doing it in baby talk because I didn't even know what ginger juice, I didn't even know what ginger was, okay? So baby talk for everyone because I didn't know either. And this is what the juice looks like when you're done. And the juice, it does wonders for your respiratory system. It kind of like, it kind of works as like a natural aspirin, but it also boosts your immune system. And I rarely get sick if I'm drinking this often. It also cures things really easily. I don't know how, but it's magic. And I'm gonna have a big sip and we're gonna do our deep breaths because I'm very hyper because of the ginger. I'm like, ha. Ah. And then we're gonna begin. So I'm so happy you're here. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know why. I'm so excited. Here we go. <coughs> it's just, it's just water. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's spicy, but it's good for you. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> ah, let's do our three big deep breaths. And then we're going to begin the show. Here we go. Breathe in with me. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe out. Don't you feel better already? Breathe in one more time. Breathe in. All of your worries, all of your fears. Hold it. Hold it. And let go. It feels better. Here we go. One last time, fill your lungs, close your eyes, two, and release. I hope you did that with me. I hope I wasn't doing this for myself. It makes you present, it calms you down, it makes you feel grateful to, every day is a blessing. So, I don't know, I've been doing that. People seem to like it. I personally love it for myself. You guys know that I'm not, you know, I don't say religious and stuff, and I don't say religious. I don't say grace because I'm not very religious. Is this too dark? I don't know. And, um, you know, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to start praying because I've never done it before. And I always, I'm current, you know, I question what I want to believe. So I think big, deep breaths can be universal. So here we go. Let's begin. Let's start with this one here. <clears throat> Tell you how this goes. This is a double cheeseburger with bacon. It has lettuce, tomato, pickles, extra sauce. Oh, this looks excellent. I'm telling you, they are to die for. So, cheers to a wonderful eating show. Here we go. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That is a cheeseburger. I actually like it better than my local Five Guys. Here's my thing about burgers, sandwiches in general. If it's dry, I'm not interested. They even gave me all this extra sauce. Listen, I didn't even need it. There's some more back here too. It's like a spicy mayo. There's, yeah, there's spice in there. <clears throat> Whew. Oh, take a big deep breath after that. Excuse me, my local five guys. They're not very good. The skimpy on the sauce, I have to come home and like make it up every time. This, I didn't even have to add it. Yeah, I added a little sauce on here and here, but I didn't add any sauce on these ones and that's so good. All right, let's do, <clears throat> where's that mushroom one? I think, it, what's under here? Is this the chicken one or the mushroom one? I think it's chicken. Where's the mushroom? I have to get up and look, I can't see. It's a party up in here. Oh, this is the mushroom one. Oh yeah, stuffed with cheese. We love cheese, yes we do. 
This was my first experience at Shake Shack with Jesse Smiles. Huh. So good. The cheese was just like... I couldn't believe it. I was very impressed. Mmm. It's even better. Mmm. Okay. It's cheese and cheese. So you can see that layer of mozzarella. I think it's mozzarella. Oh. Very good. Is this technically... Oh, vegetarian. Excuse me. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, so, so good. Mmm. 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 This is my favorite thing on their menu. And I like meat now. Well, I eat everything. Let's be real. And you guys, I don't even like mushrooms. You know I don't like mushrooms. But this is so, like, flavorful because it's deep fried. It reminds me of, like, a falafel on the outside. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, that shit. Oh. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Of the oh. Can I keep going? Can I just eat the whole thing whole? Oh my god. Wow. <clears throat> very, very, very good. These are the cheese fries. Their cheese is excellent, and so are their french fries. Like what? Mm, it's like Velveeta thick. <laughs> this is one of the best tasting mukbangs ever. First time having their chicken. Oh, that has really good seasoning. I'm impressed. I am very. Very, very impressed <clears throat> with this place. That's better than Chick-fil-A. I'm not just saying it for the camera. I'm very honest. I tell you all the time when I'm like, I don't like this or ooh, this is gross. I say it all the time about food. I'm like, eh, it's overhyped. <sighs> wow. I don't want to eat all the chicken. Orlin likes chicken more than meat, so I'm going to save this for him, but... What is in there that makes it so different from Chick-fil-A? It just tastes better. Hey, Siri! Hey, Siri! Mm -hmm. Why is Shake Shack amazing? <laughs> on the web for why are Shake Shack amazing. Check it out. Goodbye. Honestly, this is so good. I, I, th I mean, wow. So, 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 so good. I mean, I am impressed. Oh, I really want more of these, but I'm not going to save them. Oh, God. Even the fries by themselves, if you don't get the cheese, which comes on the side. I, th I think if you order it at the restaurant, they dunk it on for you. I like the fries more than Chick-fil-A, too. Chick-fil-A Chick fries are soggy. I like to get them extra crispy, and they're still okay. I mean, they're good, especially if they're really salty. But I love the crinkle. I, li I like the texture. See? Look up close. So these I call bowling alley fries. When I was in elementary school, I used to do, like, an after-school bowling activity. <clears throat> And it was like every Friday or every Thursday, something like that. And we used to go to the bowling alley and it would be my friend, my neighbor, my other neighbor, uh, my sister, my brother, my other brother, his friend, my mom, all the moms would get together and we would sit there and bowl. And they would have bowling alley fries. They would be crinkly like this. And they were one of the best, I mean, obviously I'm a tourist, we love food. That was one of my highlights of going to the bowling alley because I got to eat some crinkle fries. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. But the, it didn't have cheese like this. Oh. Mmm. Outstanding. Okay, let's try the hot dog. I've never had a hot dog from here. I'm literally shook right now. Shook. Shook. 
Here we go. So this is a chicken dog. So it's not made out of um, pig, pork. It's made out of chicken. And it's made Chicago style. Now I did, if you guys want to see, I went to Chicago. Love Chicago. Every time I talk about it, I get very happy. I have great experiences there. Um, the people are friendly. I've been blessed every time I've been there. Like, nothing bad's happened. The weather's beautiful. The food's delicious. The company is lovely. I mean, I, knock on wood, every time I go to Chicago, I have a lovely experience. Well, I went with one of my friends. His name was Thomas. And he drove me to Vienna Hot Dog. And I filmed a mukbang right there. And he... He was a fan of the channel, but then we turned into friends, and he, he was so excited, like, watching me film it in the restaurant. He, like, sat behind the camera. I was like, whoo, with my little hot dogs. But it was delicious. Vienna hot dog. So check it out if you want some authentic Chicago-style hot dogs. I don't know if Vienna hot dogs considered authentic enough, but it was very good. But if you don't know, Chicago-style means it just has the vegetables. It comes with diced onion, relish, pickles, um... And like a season, it's like some kind of pepper on top of tomatoes. So that's how it looks when you get it. And it's supposed to enhance the flavors. Mmm. Mmm. Are these spicy pepper? Ooh. Spicy pepper. Mmm. Mmm. That's chicken. Is that chicken? That's chicken. Wow. I would never know. <clears throat> that is not chicken. It can't be. Vegetables. Mmm. A little chewy. Do you ever see how hot dogs are made? Don't. <laughs> it's like a food grade plastic that they put it into to make it like circular. All right, what's next? My Fritos. This is the new one. As you can see, it's very very loaded and it has a lot of fresh onions Ooh, almost smells like fried fish and you're like uh oh what are you about to look at that tell me you don't want to eat that it's like stuffed in there and these buns I know they look really like you know simple simpleton but it's what makes it so good the buns are buttery it's like home style that you get like the barbecue 4th of July you're out back cooking on the patio on the balcony you know, you buy these at Walmart, Target, you know, your grocery store. These are like that soft egg buns. Eggy. That's what it is. I think there's egg in there. <gasps> I mean, get out of here. Let's try it. Here we go. You've been watching my mukbangs for how long? Five months, five years, five weeks. I never, it tastes like seafood. But it also tastes like Fritos. What is in here? Hey Siri. Please pull up Shake Shack's menu, please. How dare you, you try that one? Stop it, go away. The next one is burger menu. What is in here? I need to know. Last thing I was looking at, deodorant. <laughs> These fries, oh my god, and the cheese, oh my god. I have to scroll in, oh my god. So it's not the mushroom burger, which is excellent. Wow, this shut off in the middle of my speech. I'm like not okay about this. But what I was trying to say is, you guys, I never get this excited about 
food, like, I mean, listen, we all like, you know I get excited about food, I'm a tourist, I do this for a living, but how often where it's like every single menu item, like, mm, 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 mm. I mean, even Sonic, some, like, I think their underings are too hard at Sonic, you know, every, what is this? What is in here? Is it a local thing? Like, what do they put in here? Fritos. I don't know. I'm trying to look on my phone if it loads. I need to tell you what I'm eating. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's very good. Something fried. It's like fried onions or fried Fritos or something. Check it out. My fa- Oh, let's try that apple. Apple cider maple- Maple bacon. <gasps> so many choices. Okay, this one is the double cheese. Oh! It's the double cheese. Let's make some room down over here. Okay. Gosh, you're making a mess. Um, I need a separate some for my husband. I know it was here for the display. He was about to do a mukbang. He's never had Shake Shack before in his life. This mushroom, I'm gonna keep eating. Mm. I know I sound like a cow right now. I know I'm getting too bright like a diamond, but let's dip it in some cheese. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. It's the, it's so good. It kicks in and out in the behind, I'm telling you. Mm. Oh my God. Stop it. You know how my, my viewers, they're all, well, you might go, okay. I'll tell you, <clears throat> when I go live stream, my viewers are like, eat, um, Long John Silver's. Go eat a double Whopper with cheese. They, they like to see me eat foods that I love, even if it's not trendy, like Long John Silver's or, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I farted too at the same time. <coughs> <coughs> Here's another one. We're gonna keep it. I don't know. Okay. I was just trying to explain to one of my friends' friend what I do for a living. I should just send them this video. I just fart and laugh and cough <laughs> and taste food. How blessed it, it, I am. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I totally lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry for farting. We're trying to be very more professional. We're trying to be professional over here. Oh, let me say, excuse me, oh gosh, now here come all the noises. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Not to burp. Oh my god. Burp, fart, cough, spit, fart. <clears throat> Hiccup, that's all we have to do. <clears throat> and cry, which we don't do anymore of. Hey, I just want to tell you guys while you're here, I made an announcement on my Instagram two days ago. <clears throat> I, okay. Over the past, I'd say like two weeks or so, my messages on Instagram and Twitter have went from very like really negative and you know, justifiably so. I, I listen, I messed up. And then they've turned to like a lot of encouragement and complimentary, complimentary and um, almost admiration. People keep saying that they're proud of me and I made, I talked about this two days on my Instagram story and cause I was just reading through them. I was reading through them. Re like my Instagram DMs were so, so like, oh my gosh, I don't even wanna, I just wanna quit. You know, like I, I thought everyone, everyone hated me. And again, very justifiably so for some things that had happened. And then I made effort and you know, I apologized and I came out with not one, not two, but three different apologies. And I told you guys what I can and can't talk about. And I've tried, you know, 
I don't have to tell you. I have to do it in my action. You know what I mean? I don't need to sit here and tell you. You can see with my action, whatever. And um, I have my new YouTube channel, Nick Avocado 4. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> it's been so positive over there and so fun. And I just, and people are rooting for me. People are giving me another chance. People can understand where I was coming from in terms of like, you know, hamming things up for the camera. I mean, I would, it's one thing to be funny when I'm burping and farting. It's another thing where it involves other people and they get hurt. So I, there's a distinct line. So I don't want to just blame it on, oh, well, I was acting. No, it was also like, no, I was deliberate. Um, my messages on Instagram over the past two weeks, I'd say, a week and a half, two weeks, have been so positive. And it's, it went from so negative to like so we are proud of you. We are rooting for you. I love this change. I This is the Nick that I fell in love with. Or this is someone, this is who I saw when I first came across your channel and I enjoyed it. This was the reason I subscribed to you or this was the reason I followed you. And um, it means a lot to me, is all I'm trying to say. And it doesn't get old. I think people think I probably hear it all the time. Like people are always complimenting me or boasting me or trying to talk me up or whatever. And that's not the case. I mean, maybe a little bit. <clears throat> People are like, oh, I love you. But, you know, and it's going to happen no matter who you are. If you have a following, you have a fan base, you know. But it doesn't get old in terms of, I can see that you're trying. I can see that you've made effort. Even though it's only been a couple of months, I can see a change, a different palette, a different color coming from you or your channel or what you're saying, what you're doing. And just for the... I don't want to get emotional, but just the amount of people who are telling me that they're proud of me, it makes my day and it makes me so, so happy because I want to do what's right and I, I want to make you happy and I also want to learn from the things I've done wrong and to right my wrongs in the best way I know how and just, to, it's just overwhelming every day. I love your new channel. I love your new videos. I can see, oh, I'm proud of you or like, you know, you don't deserve to, you know, to die, what people are saying, like, it, it makes me so appreciative, and it, it doesn't get old, because at the end of the day, I'm by myself making these videos, eating, farting, burping, crying, you know, no more crying, we're done with that, but you know what I mean, I'm over here doing the whole muck, but I'm doing the show, I'm doing a show for you, and I'm alone in this room, and I'm looking at a camera, I feel like I'm looking at you, like, when I make my videos, I imagine I'm on a stage, and I'm talking to an audience, I've always loved public speaking. I majored in performance, not acting or singing or dancing, violin, but still, I enjoy that spotlight. I enjoy making people feel a certain way. I live for the applause, like Lady Gaga says. I love, that's just me. That's my natural personality. I love speaking to people and being on stage, being in the center of the stage. And there's nothing wrong with that, only if you use that spotlight for bad, you know? So I'm using my spotlight for good, or at least I'm trying to, and it doesn't get old because at the end of the day, I'm by myself, I'm looking at a camera, I'm reading some comments. There might be a thousand, two thousand comments, which is a lot of people. Have you ever Googled two thousand people? Fifteen hundred, one thousand five hundred people in a room? That's like an entire auditorium. It's a lot of people um, that are commenting under my videos. But when you look at the views, what, a hundred thousand people are going to view this? It's a drop. It's like a 1%, it's a small little slice of everyone else. And so at the end of the day, I don't know what people are th thinking or feeling unless they choose to comment, which might be like a little filtered because they know other people are gonna read it. So you might kind of like hand things up yourself. You know, I think that's how like cancel culture happens. It's like, you know, you're gonna get reaction out of the viewers. So you're gonna say something extra mean or you're gonna, you know, I I'm aware of that, not even so for myself, but for other people, people who don't deserve to be canceled, and they are, and it's just like, oh, the littlest thing, because the commenters are getting attention out of being extra critical and over the top. <clears throat> Colleen Bollinger talked about this, you know, Miranda Sings, and how it's really um, a bad thing, <laughs> you know, the whole thing, but for, for certain cases, of course. Um, it doesn't get old because I'm by myself. I read a couple of comments. It's a very small slice of, of the makeup here. And um, I'm just doing my best and I'm just hoping you guys like it. So when I see your messages on Twitter, on my Instagram, um, even emails, um, thank you. This was took 10 minutes to say thank you, but I just wanna let you know where I'm coming from and what's happening and I talk a lot, I know. <clears throat> but. 
it means so much to me and don't feel like i don't know i just appreciate it because it get, keeps me motivated it keeps me inspired and it makes me want to say yes i want to keep on making people feel this way yes i want to keep on bringing happiness to people yes i want to keep on doing that like why would i not and so when I get that feedback, it makes me feel like, oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> so sorry. I feel like I'm like a kid in school that's like, you had a good day or a bad day. You need to be patted on the back. I, listen, maybe I do. Maybe I'm very childish in my head, which I am. <clears throat> but it means a lot. So... Thank you. And please leave your comments here, too. I read the comments, but again, it's still... Some people don't feel comfortable leaving a public comment. They'd rather tell me privately where no one else is going to read it. So, cheers to that. That was a whole little speech for you, but cheers. And, oh, here's my thumbnail. Here's my thumbnail. <laughs> That's my thumbnail. I was like... But it probably distorted it. I don't know. There we go. There's my thumbnail. No, I'm joking. Um, cheers to positivity and um, another chance. Thank you. Oh my god, I feel so cringy. Ah! <laughs> no! No! Edit this out. No. Ew. Ah, gosh. What is wrong with me? I am not getting full, by the way. I cannot get full off this. Wait a minute. Yeah. Sliding down in my seat. So, did I eat my whole... Oh, here's the... No, I ate all my mushroom burp. It is the... I can't wait to see Orland's reaction. So, let me set things aside. So, Orland's... This is... I got two... No, that's a double... Don't tell me I only got one mushroom. Oh, no. Here's the other mushroom. I was going to say, I would never forgive myself. My baby needs to have this. Okay, so this is for him. Don't worry, I have on a whole spread food grade paper, so that's what's going on. So that's for him. I got two of each, and then I got one chicken, so I only want to eat half the chicken. Um, there's one for Orlin. Oh, I'm getting them mixed up. That one's mine. Don't worry, we're married. I can touch it. This is the chicken one. I want to try this chicken one. And then there's this, um, another double cheeseburger. I think I have two fries. I'm gonna give him the chicken too. My baby. Oh, so Orlin, in case you're wondering, so um, I don't think I need to announce this, but so y'all know he can't do many. Mu I don't even have to announce. Let me just do it because I know people will be like, "Ew, I thought he was sick." Orlin's not on his deathbed, so you don't need to say that. But he does have an autoimmune condition, and he can't eat a lot of things. I mean, he can eat it. It's not gonna make him feel good. But also. <sighs> I feel like it's not my place to say, but you know he has an eating disorder. What do you call it? Uh, E-O. What's it called? Edos. Not specified. What's it, what it called? I don't know. Oh, Anna. Anna. But he doesn't really have that. I don't know. It's not specified. So he has whatever issues with his food. But um, he has a laborer's job. He does landscaping. He does a lot of plants and gardening and he'll like trim trees and like mulch stuff and he'll like tropical this and botanical this and this a shade plant for this plant and this is a sunlight plant and you propagate this and he'll graft this. He does projects like that. So it's labor so he needs to eat because he gets hungry. But also he can't sustain himself doing all that work on just fruits and vegetables with a little fish because, you know, he's... Not my size, <laughs> but you know, he's, he's a perfect weight if you ask me, so don't you even start. But you know, you can't sustain a bigger body on just that. You have to really be slim yourself to even make that work. And you don't want to starve yourself while working, you're going to get fired. So it's, it's constant battle. Plus the relationship with his food is, you know, plus he has his condition. So it's, it's a little sticky with him. And you guys know, I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain this, but, um, what he's doing right now is a week straight of filming. And then three weeks off of fruits and vegetables, fish, nuts, seeds, um, salads, lots of nuts. He loves his nuts, pistachios. Um, and that's what he likes best because in his mind, like once he starts, it's hard to stop until it's like his body's like, oh, I've had enough. 
And, you know, because he's all about spreading out like twice a week, once a week, you know, it's been a hard day or, a, you know, it's sunny out so I'm sweating extra or I need more calories. And, you know, the carrot juice and the, 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 the pineapple is not going to cut it for a grown man. Um, so, but he finds that he starts getting like this bad path and it's more like start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, where it's like a hit to his body every time. Whereas his body kind of starts getting used to it, the antibodies, I don't know how it works. It's all complicated, okay? So just to let you know, he is going to film for a week and then take three weeks off. But during that week when he films, he's going to spread his videos out. And we've already tried this last month and he says it works best because he's naturally hungry for it in the first week because of all his activity. He also does, okay, he'll clean a lot of the dishes or he'll help me clean the house. Um, he does laundry. I mean, I'm trying to do laundry now, but he has been doing laundry. So it's like he has stuff to do. So he needs to eat anyway. So, um, and it's not like it's gonna make him drop dead. It's, it's kind of like too much of it could do something. So, uh, I guess all I'm trying to say is that he's gonna be eating, <laughs> he's gonna be eating this as well, but this is not making a beep when it's done and she go beep beep and it's not. That's making me really upset. All I'm trying to say is like, he's gonna film this, but I'm trying to give you an explanation as to why you're not gonna see this the same day. He might show his, which will be fresh, will heat it up and everything, of course, but you'll see his like a week later or, or maybe even two. So bear with him. I mean, understand it's his condition and it's still real time. It's not like a year old. Like sometimes I post year old videos. No, 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 they're within that week or two. So don't fret, don't fear. Um, and this is gonna be his first time trying it. So I'm really excited. I have to change the camera battery. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm back home, I'm home. I'm back home. I'm back home. Okay, we have to eat. So I'm gonna finish the hot dog. He doesn't like hot dogs anyway. This was very good. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Like I'm saying, Shake Shack. Is that what I was saying? I was, I was talking about Orlin, but. The place is impressive. Very. Very impressive. That was a whole clump of cheese. Treat yourself. It's a little pricier. People think I talk about money too much. Maybe I do. But also, I understand where most people are at. I feel like most people who watch my videos want to learn something other than be entertained. <laughs> what do you learn from me farting and crying? Probably nothing. Other than that your life is better than mine. <laughs> Try to make you feel better about your own issues. Over here trying to exaggerate mine. We're done with that anyway. But anyways, uh, the farting, okay. Um, but in all seriousness, jokes aside, I feel like people do watch my channel to learn a little something, to know what, what to get, what not to get, what they people like my opinion. I don't know why they value it. I don't know why, but, but they do. And I understand where people are coming from. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not in my own bubble over here where I'm like a millionaire. And no, there's nothing wrong with making money. I don't want to shame people who have money. But I, I know where people are at. And I people are not going to go spend $8 on a cheeseburger because I say it's good when they could get one for two or three or four or five down the street. You know, it all adds up, especially if you have a family. So if you're spending three to four extra dollars per person on a meal because it's from Shake Shack and there are five people in your household, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, that's $20 more. Just that meal, just that meal, $20 more. Let alone the other three meals of the day. say that was the case for all three meals that's sixty dollars extra a day on food just because i say it's good ah is that the math you, you get the point i i just i know where people are coming from and i want to be mindful of that i don't want to well not want to i'm not in a bubble like that and i don't think i ever would be hopefully let's hope that doesn't happen to me you know i feel like i really want to try to be relatable and to let you know i'm aware i don't want to be ignorant of it so there's my little spiel about mentioning prices. <laughs> but 
I will be I will be honest and say that it tastes way better McDonald's, way better than Burger King, way better than Checkers, better than Sonic, better than In and Out. Um, it's just good. So if you can try it, do it. Mmm. I'm trying to think what comes close. Fat burger, but that's also pricey too. I feel like fat burger, you get more food. Your big old burger. But then again, their burger is more than this. Um, so. Mmm. Mmm. A little chewy. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so excited to see Orange's reaction, especially to that mushroom. I decided I'm not going to try the chicken just because he doesn't like that much meat. So I'm going to leave that for plus I'm full. I'm going to go back at this one, the Frito one. Mmm. It's just so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. We're kind of wrapping it up toward the end. If you stayed the whole time, thank you. Thank you. If you made it to, to the, oh, it's about, wait, let's make space on my card. Wait a minute. Hi, I'm back. I made space on my card. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, am I doing mukbang good enough? I don't know. Uh, I didn't even use my honey mustard or my barbecue. What was it even for? Oh, the chicken. It was for the chicken. That's okay. Um, what I was trying to say is if you made it to the end of my show, please do a shamrock, like a four leaf clover in your, com in your comment, the emoji on your phone or on the computer. I think, you, well, if you have Mac, I think it's control shift something. Just copy and paste someone else's shamrock, shamrock if you can't do it. It's a, um, for, for, I don't know why, but when I think of Shake Shack, I think of green because their logo is green. And I think of four leaf clovers. Shake Shack, Shamrock, Shamrock Shake. I think that's where it comes from, Shamrock Shake. Who has one of those? Is it Shake Shack or McDonald's? <gasps> St. Patrick's Day is literally around the corner. Yes, so put um, put a four leaf clover in your comment and I'm gonna know that you made it this far. And in addition, oh, let's shout out some people right now. In my next video, I'm gonna be shouting out a bunch of you who do the four leaf clover and I'm gonna be thanking you and shouting out your social media. I know I'm doing that for my new channel, so go on over to my new channel, but let's shout a few of you out here. Let's just go to my last video, the one with, um, I can't just play. the one with Angel, my little brother. Um, well, technically brother-in-law, but we call him my little brother. Always have. Here we go. Sh oh, should I do top comments? Some of them are really nice. Sh uh, shout out to Allison. She says that your violin speaks to the soul. Maybe I'll put violin in the intro in here. You guys seem to like it. Um, please have violin instead of mental breakdown. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I promise. Oh, and shout out to Yeeting on the... F oh, I don't know if I can say that word on camera. Hi. Um, someone says, wow, when you started playing that violin, my, my jaw dropped. You should make more videos about it. Oh my God. Thank you, It's Beauty. So everyone's commenting about, why did I start tearing up when he played the violin? I'm out. This comes from Indica Smith. 460 likes. You guys, let me see the replies. Oh, I did too. Me too. It was amazing. I know, right? He says it comes from because I farted. The heat came out. Oh, <laughs> that's why your eyes started crying. Oh my god. Um. Oh yeah, I did fart in this video. Some people are making fun of him for crying. Hey, I feel like one of the bad things in our society is you know shaming men for having feelings or letting them out. We don't want to be in a militaristic robotic society where th that causes lots of issues. Let it out. I think that's the American way anyway, to really let it out. At least it should be. I think it should be the worldwide way, but here we go. <clears throat> Do a violin intro to the tune of I'm back home. Shoot be doo I'm home. Hello. That comes from Pulley Bug. Thank you. That's a good idea. I will. Someone says, I can see the change in your personality. I'm totally here for it. Thank you. This comes from... It's loading. 
Um, Sianya, thank you. Oh gosh. Uh, Sianya. Um, loving the positivity in these comments. We love to see it and we love you. Thank you, Shu. Um, people are talking about the violin part. I'm gonna put some violin in this video then. People seem to really like it. Well, I'll make something up. I don't, um, I can't play songs that you know and recognize because then they'll come in and take all the, the rights to the video. And I don't wanna do that to myself, so I'm gonna have to make something up, but I can do it, like, to an extent. I'll make something up, like a little tune. Yeah, it's not gonna be a whole symphony. It's, you know, 30 seconds. Da -da 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 -da. I can do something for you guys, so anyways. Thank you so much for your comments. Leave the shamrock four leaf clover emoji in this video. And I'll be shouting you out in the next one. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for eating with me. Please try Shake Shack.